105,000 feet above Earth, two times higher than any passenger aircraft ever goes, floats dozens of balloons, not for weather monitoring or an innovative space program. This program has more down-to-Earth origins. This is Google's Project Loon, a plan to deliver internet to each and every corner of the globe. Many people today think that the internet is sort of a solved problem. We have DSL, we have LTE, we have all these technologies that a lot of us in the rich world take for granted. The problem is that these technologies don't really work for two-thirds of the world's population. So Project Loon is about bringing the internet to the places it couldn't go before. The company knew stringing lowly populated areas with expensive fibre was a non-starter, leaving wireless as the only real option. But with satellites costing hundreds of millions of dollars to build and launch, the company turned to an ancient solution to their more modern day problem, ballooning. Engineers in the company's X division came up with a plan to launch dozens of balloons, each equipped with their very own LTE cell phone antenna, a battery and solar power into the atmosphere. Project Loon works by putting up a whole bunch of small, relatively inexpensive high altitude balloons that circle the Earth in a band and beam the internet to the ground. Sounds simple? Well, not so much. While today's sightseeing balloons travel to around 2,000 feet, Google plans to take existing balloons to all new heights, specifically the stratosphere, an area of the atmosphere some 20 kilometers from the Earth's surface removed from intense weather conditions. In 2013, Google launched a pilot program in Tekapo, a remote area of New Zealand's South Island, and the experiments begun. After studying everything from plastic wrap to latex condoms to create balloons strong enough to withstand more than a few days in the air, engineers encountered their next problem, how to navigate the balloons where they want them. For Project Balloon to work, first of all, we had to think about things in an entirely new way. And then we had to make big advances in the state of ballooning technology. And then we had to make big advances in our ability to plan for a fleet of lots and lots of balloons. One, two, three. The engineers discovered by inflating a secondary balloon filled with oxygen within the main balloon, they could compress the helium, changing the balloon's elevation, whilst engineers at the company's Mountain View headquarters could monitor data from the National Weather Service to lower the balloon into jet streams. There are a whole bunch of things that come together to make Project Balloon possible now. But the most important is a conceptual leap. We had to decide it would be easier to have lots and lots of small balloons drifting with the winds than maybe one great big stratospheric dirigible fighting the winds. And the upshot is it's easier for us to give the internet to everyone than just a few people. With the pilot program delivering speeds of up to 40 megabits per second to some 50 testers complete, Google's now begun similar programs with other governments, from Brazil to neighbouring Australia. And the program isn't just philanthropic either. Loon bounces the data from balloon to balloon and down to carrier partners on the ground, partners like Vodafone, Telstra and Telefonica. Two thirds of the planet isn't connected and can't participate in the conversations we need to have about how to solve the great big pressing problems that are facing our planet today. It will also bring benefits like improved education, improved health care, and ultimately bringing people into this great big global conversation about how to solve our really pressing problems.